And so when we talk about high insertion torque, there are people that have referred to pressure necrosis as a unicorn, something that people have heard of but never seen. But when we talk about healed sites and grafted sites, I have had a few unicorns in my office, and this would be one of them, an implant placed with over 50 newton centimeters, a wide diameter implant, and significant crestal bone loss. Another dilemma here, where we extract the mandibular molar, we graft the socket, healing is adequate, the implant is placed with high insertion torque, and at 10 weeks, when we're taking our radiograph to refer the patient back to be restored, we have no mobility, no inflammation, no soft tissue recession, but what happens at the crest? And what do we do here? I mean, this is a dilemma in terms of how do I say to this patient, I have to take this out and start over again, which I didn't do. But in another example of an implant placed in a healed site with high insertion torque, over time we progressively lost more and more bone. And this resulted in several surgical and non-surgical interventions to treat inflammatory disease, suppuration, swelling, bleeding on probing, until the final outcome was to just remove the implant graft and start over. So I have seen these unicorns in healed sites. And this is really not surprising. If we look at the literature, the animal studies have shown us more marginal bone loss in healed sites when implants are placed with a higher torque. And in the human studies, at one year and at two year, Baroni and Alfonsi showed us that implants placed in healed sites with higher insertion torques greater than 50 newton centimeters demonstrate more hard tissue loss or marginal bone loss and soft tissue recession. So I think this is something that we have to keep an eye on. And a recent consensus from the AO showed us that there may not be strong correlations as far as implant survival looking at these parameters, but there certainly is, is a trend towards marginal bone loss when implants are placed in healed sites with high insertion torque. 